Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to speak to you about a new website called Lumina-Chat.com. This, this website, you, it's a scientific website. You could ask it any scientific question, it will respond to it, and it will guide you, it will support its answer with supporting scientific studies. I mean, it's an incredible website, and I urge you to check this out. This is amazing. I recommend it. So, I decided to ask this question to this website. If a 100-year-old man was to be able to maintain the fast switch fibers, neuromuscular junction, and fascia of a 50-year-old man, barring any unsaid genetic diseases, can he potentially exceed the maximal lifespan ceiling with such a young body at the age of 100? Its response was yes. A 100-year-old man who can maintain the fast switch fibers, neuromuscular junction, and fascia of a 50-year-old man, barring any unsaid genetic diseases, may potentially exceed the maximum lifespan ceiling with such a young body at 100. The key lies in preserving neuromuscular function and other systems to physical exercise. Physical exercise is essential for the preservation of neuromuscular function and other systems. Sustained muscle contraction over time is a me mechanical tool that prevents deterioration due to disuse, causing a protective effect at a multi-systematic system. <clears throat> Sustained muscle contraction over time is a mechanical tool that prevents deterioration due to disuse causing a protective effect at a multi-systemic level. Physical exercise improves the physical fitness of the elderly, having a preventing role against the various physiological deteriorations associated with aging and muscle tissues due to increase in functional capacity that would ensure that this population is removed from the threshold of frailty. Furthermore, emerging literature suggests that recognizing the multiple factors that influence aging and the positive role that exercise and physical capacity can play in the elderly is crucial. Maintaining a high level of physical fitness, including preserving fast twitch muscle fibers, neuromuscular junctions, and fascia, could potentially help a 100-year-old man exceed the maximum lifespan ceiling as long as he is free from onset genetic diseases that could limit this potential. Ladies and gentlemen, I made prior videos making this claim. Some people, actually some people unsubscribed. They must think I'm crazy. And again, no disrespect to any scientists. I just don't think that they know about this or they don't, they believe mouse studies or questionnaires. My point is this, okay? For you to live to 120 or some, some make bold claims, 150, you, when you reach 100, what do you think? You think you're going to have the body of a 100-year-old or a 90-year-old when you reach 100? You need to have the muscle structure, the bone structure, the lung capacity of at least a man half your age. That is the only way. This is my theory. Okay, my theory is backed by science. If some man can reach 100 with the body of a 50-year-old and be free of disease, of any age-related diseases, you know, like diabetes, heart disease, cancer, etc., then man has a high probability that we will, he will reach 120. If he's at 100 years old and can move like a 50-year-old, has the functional ability, the musculature, the bone density of a, even a 60-year-old, what do you think is going to happen? Barring that he's, he has no diseases. What, what? Compare this to a man right now that some individuals take, you know, watch their diet and they manipulate their diet to lower their biological age and make these claims that they're 30 years biologically younger. But, but you need to take a look at their bodies. That's their weakness. You could have all the biological age you want. All biological age will do for you is compress morbidity when you get in, into all the age, like 85, 90, 95, 100. That's all biological age does. You need to also have a young body with this. That's 
what my channel is about. I do both. Don't think that I don't do both. I do both. And as for longevity stuff, supplements, I hate to, I disagree with Mr. Peter Atia, uh, Matt Cableline. Uh, I disagree with Charles Brenner because certain supplements, certain supplements can and do increase longevity as long as you live a healthy lifestyle. You can't eat junk food and not work out and take a supplement. You need to do it all. But let me tell you something. I'm going to make a video on either the top five or top seven supplements I take, which are proven by human studies. I mean, a lot of human studies. That's the only supplements I take. Okay? They do help. They do help. You need to take your protein. I disagree with Mr. David Sinclair. He says, well, you could work out, eat high protein diet, but it's going to activate mTOR. You're going to look good, but you're going to die earlier. No, 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 no. Not true. Not true. So far, in my 60s, my 60s, okay, I don't move like a 60-year-old man, and I'm not bragging here. I'm not bragging. I train for this. I do things that 30-year-olds do. Easily. 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 I have the functional ability of a 30-year-old. I'll take any test with anybody. And I don't mean no disrespect by this. I love challenges. Especially with the young fellas. Anyway, have a great day. And I have a video coming with the top supplements I take that are crucial for longevity. And I also have another video coming that will support what I'm saying here. Again, I don't just talk. I back up my words with scientific evidence. Have a great day. See you soon.